here today um, to, um, to commemorate National Service Day. Um, and we could do this in a lot of places in our city uh, because we have so many volunteers uh, citywide helping our fellow citizens uh, improve their lives, uh, to, make, uh, to give kids a better education, and to, uh, and to make our, our city a better place. We chose today to highlight uh, the great work of uh, our, our foster grandparents program that's run through Coastline Elderly Services and in conjunction with our local Head Start program. And as you can see, as you can hear in the background, there's a lot of activity going on. A lot of kids who are learning big things, who are fully engaged, and we shouldn't be interrupting them, right? I'm just, I'm just here talking. Uh, but I, I'm just uh, so pleased with the work that's, uh, that's, that's being done here. And there are a handful of people that I want to, to recognize. Uh, I want to recognize uh, all the volunteers, uh, first and foremost. We've had in the last year a real surge in volunteers in the foster grandparent uh, program. It's gone from, I think, 48 to, uh, excuse me, 49 to 58 volunteers. So it's grown uh, in the last year to, uh, to larger proportions. Uh, I want to thank uh, the director of foster grandparents, Christine Voss, who's here with me right now. And I'll ask her to elaborate a little bit on the program. But, you know, this is a, um, uh, this is a program that uh, brings in a number of different agencies and a number of uh, funding sources. Uh, and they include uh, Coastline Elderly Services, uh, the Head Start program, uh, of course, Karen Supernard. Who's Karen? Karen's right there. She's, uh, she's making, a, she's eating the chocolate uh, uh, cookie right now. I don't want to, don't, don't mess that up. You gotta let it cool first. Um, and, um, uh, but most of all, it's really about the volunteers who step forward uh, uh, day in and day out uh, for the, to give kids uh, a better start in their lives. And uh, you know, all these kids, you, you can just pan around the room and see them. Uh, they are doing some wonderful things here. They're engaged on the computer. They're engaged in arts and crafts. They're making stuff. They're being creative. They are, uh, young minds are being formed here. This is our future, and we appreciate the work that, uh, that all of you are doing uh, to make our city a better place. So with all that, let me... Um, I'm going to read a, a, a proclamation. So here's what it says. It says, the city of New Bedford hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to Coastline Elderly Services as well as uh, Head Start um, in recognition of the foster grandparent program. New Bedford has 58 dedicated national service volunteers engaged in local elementary schools, early learning centers, Pace Head Start, the special needs center and after school sites, and a behavioral health center all making uh, all making uh, our kids get off to a faster start in life and really giving them the foundation they need to succeed so i just christine i'm going to give you this but i know it's uh, it really is to everybody here who's doing all, all really the, the the great work of uh, uh of this program so thank you so much thank you very much ma'am thank you if you want to say a few words about the program so everybody knows about yes, it i certainly would Go ahead. I'd like to thank Mayor Mitchell for joining us today and to thank Head Start who has been one of our supporters and partners since 1982. This is a phenomenal program where we provide the boys and girls of New Bedford and the surrounding communities the opportunity to interact with another adult in the classroom. As you see and I'm sure you can hear it is a very busy classroom and we have three foster grandparents who have been with us for a long time. We have Grandma Diane, Grandma Louise, and Grandma Ellie, and they are one of 58 volunteers who donate over 60,000 hours a year. Just remember, average age is 80, and we have volunteers from 55 to 94 years old. And they give of their time, their love, their attention to the boys and girls, preschool through to elementary, one-on-one -on -one interaction. And I am very proud to be associated with Head Start, who joined us at the same time that Coastline became a sponsor to the program. And to celebrate Mayor's Day with Mayor Mitchell, this is the second annual celebration. Last year, there were 600 mayors across the US. This year, there were over 1,500. So we really appreciate. 
<laughs> I'm sure there are more and we've got to get to them. But I really appreciate you finding time in your busy schedule to acknowledge our program and to recognize three of our 58 foster grandparents. Thank you so much. Thanks, Christine. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. All right, kids. Let's have a round of applause for all your teachers and volunteers. Right.